So Hugo, thanks so much for having me out to the uh, to the cork forest. Tell us about this forest. Well, we're in, a, in the heart of a gorgeous forest. Well, the cork oak forest is a, a unique uh, place in, on, on earth. It's one of the 36 uh, hotspots of biodiversity regarded as an endangered forest by the WWF. So uh, in these forests, we have about 720,000 hectares or 1.8 million acres of it in Portugal. And these trees, these forests, they live to produce cork, which is the bark of the tree that we peel off to produce closures. This is um, nature's own armor for an oak, for a tree mm -hmm. that um, can live for 200, 250 years. All of these materials come from trees that you never cut down. The tree needs to grow for about 25 years in average. Then you can peel it off for the first time. And then from then onwards, you can peel it off every nine years. But the thing is that in order to get good enough cork to produce closures, you need to wait for three harvests. So you will only get good enough cork for closures after 40 years that the tree has been planted. Cork is regarded as something pretty much of our own. It's, it's very connected with our identity because we've, we're used to have cork all around us. I mean, who doesn't love to have these beautiful forests right. around them, right? And then uh, because, you know, we have a big wine drinking culture, uh, people are very used to have a cork. So every time you, you listen to the beautiful sound of a cork being pulled out of a bottle, it means that you're going to have a celebration in front of you. Cork is, and I think it will always be, the best material to seal a bottle because of its ability to adapt to irregular situations. Cork is, if you look at it in the microscope, it's a, a very complex structure of little cells connected with each other, filled with air. A cubic centimeter of cork has about 40 million cells in it, and it's virtually impossible to replicate that with an artificial material. Amram has been working with this material for almost one and a half century. And the fact that we are still the single um, existing company without any, with continuous operation working on the market mm -hmm. makes it a big contributor to preserve this ecosystem that you see around here. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you know, the family decided to continue to invest in believing in the forest and in this raw material is a big pride for, for us to, as, as, a, as a company and for us uh, to work at it. This plant produces only for our distribution units. So we go only get the cylinders out of the, of the cork planks, and then we get the granulates to produce other technical corks. The pellets come duly identified with full traceability codes, what kind of cork uh, thickness it is, the grade, the weight, when, in what machine was it palletized, and what time and what date. The cork is then taken from here, and it goes to vaporization. So vaporization is risk management procedure. Temperature to volatilize any possible TCA that can be on the surface of the yep. cork. And then we add uh, steam because the water molecule is heavier than TCA. And so it wraps around through TCA and then we vacuum it out. So now we're gonna see these ones turn, turned into uh, corks. Out of this plant come out something like 30 million pieces a month wow. for the whole world. We get the corks in a, in a standard dimension and then we will transform them to the customer's final size. You have a first electronic selection where we just grade them by groups. Once they're graded, we can use them at the production. We first polish the diameter, then we polish the length, and then we do the finishing of the cork. All of the sizes that are being done right now, it's very rare I see a size to be repeated in any day. So that is adapting the cork to the real bottleneck. Since every product is tailor-made, we do it according to the customer's bottle requirements. 
We produced over 5.5 billion closures last year. The several byproducts that you get of the production of any of these, we will add value to all of them and produce floorings, insulation materials, produce you know, a huge amount of other applications to many other different industries, extremely demanding, but in which we are very proud to be present. And, well, we are very proud to say that with the leftovers of all of that, what you cannot use as, a, as an application, we burn to produce energy, so it's a 100% uh, used raw material. So I cannot really think of a more sustainable industry than that. When you add value to a raw material, you protect nature, you give jobs to people, and you use the material at 100%. Our vision is that we need to associate and leverage the sustainability credentials of Cork and then add you know, a premium array of solutions to it to make uh, you know, a totally innovative and creative solution to that. Well, this has been a, a ride that uh, is about to complete uh, 150 years of history. So in May next year, we'll be celebrating 150 years of the existence of the company. And uh, uh, this has been a fascinating uh, history with one common um, denominator among the, the, the four generations of my family that have been in this business, a true passion for Cork. And uh, I think that has dictated and has allowed the company and the family to survive. And when you are in front, you really need to lead uh, forward. And uh, leading forward for us means innovating, means researching, improving product performance, meeting customers' uh, expectations, assure predictable performance for everything that we are doing. We are really part of a family, part of a business that we believe that there is so much still to be done in our industry that probably the pride we have of the past 150 years is not comparable with the ambition that we have for the next uh, 100 or 150 years. And I think that that ambition is really what is driving the dynamics of the company, the positive feeling that we have about the future, and the, to grab the enormous of opportunities for a natural pr product like Cork uh, to, 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 to face uh, whatever challenges we have. And today we have, we, we have so much potential of development in everything that we do that we really believe in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in Cork more than ever.